All right, in part two of the drum hatcher, now that we have our drum sample, I'm gonna go over how to actually add that to a drum machine designer uh, instrument and save it. So I'm gonna hit the plus sign, add a new software instrument track, but I wanna start with an empty channel strip and I'm gonna hit create. Once I hit that, I'm going to go over here to the left. It automatically opens up my library to search all my sounds inside of Logic. I'm going to go to Electronic Drum Kit. I'm going to go down to where it says Empty Kit. And now to open that up, I'm going to click on the DMD button right here. All right, so as you can see, there are no sounds here. This whole thing is blank. So now what I'm going to do is go into my finder. Get the sample that I just dragged or that I just created and I'm going to drag it onto my drum kit. And here's O-Shake Kick. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it over here. Now what I want to do, I want to go to the sampler main. If you notice... All right, so it still kept in uh, two samples, so it's hitting twice. So we don't need that first one. So we can do that, and then what we're going to do, we're trimming it, and we're going to fade it out just a little. Now let's hear it. Now, now what you want to do for this one particular sound, I want it on mono, so that way many times I hit the key it is going to cut it off each time so that way it doesn't just you know start um, kind of like looping over itself now if you have another sample that you want to drag in there you can do that so now I'm going to go to OMG snare one and I'm going to drag that over there so now I have and then I have this snare and you can see right here this snare wasn't truncated already. Truncated just means, you know, trim down. So I'm going to trim it by dragging this little arrow in the bottom left-hand corner. And it locks like a magnet right to the beginning of it. And trim it like that. And now we have, we have the kick and we have the snare. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create your own snare sample from scratch. Now, in order to save this kit, we're going to click at the top at the name where it says empty kit. And over here in the library, in the bottom left hand corner, it says save. We're going to click on save. All right, type in the name of our kit. So I'm going to call this O'Shea Kit 1. Save. And there you have it. So if you ever want to load this up again, so let's close this. Let's see how we do it. So you hit the plus sign. You want to start with an empty channel strip. And we just come over here to where it says user patches. And here it is right here. O'Shea Kit 1.